Hey guys, today's video is part of a multi-part series that's about setting up Docker on FreeNAS 11.2. Video 1 in this series is going to be about setting up your Rancher OS VM. Video 2 is going to cover setting up a user and a shared folder for use as an SMB share and also as an NFS share on your FreeNAS that doubles as storage for your Rancher OS's VM's containers. Video 3 will cover setting up Portainer to manage your Docker containers and storing its settings on your FreeNAS host's NFS share. Video 4 will cover standing up a Docker container, Transmission, that uses the FreeNAS host's NFS storage that we've set up to store its downloaded files in its settings. Video 5, finally, will cover setting up another Docker container, Plex, that uses the FreeNAS host's NFS storage that we've set up to store its library and its settings. So let's get started. In this video, we're going to be jumping back and forth between the new FreeNAS UI and the legacy UI, so we'll have both of those open. First off, we're going to go, we're going to click on virtual machines in the new UI. We're going to click the plus sign. In this drop down, select Docker host. Click next. Uh, we're going to name our machine Rancher 0. Click next. If your machine supports it, uh, give two virtual CPUs and 4096 megs of RAM. 2048 will work if, you, if that's all you can spare. Um, it's for Nix, uh, this will be dependent on your hardware. Uh, I have my uh, cable plugged into EM0, so uh, that's what I'm going to select. And for our raw file name, let's go ahead and name this uh, Rancher OS. Keep 20 gigabytes. Let's click, oh, for a raw file location, you're going to want to select somewhere on your uh, one of your file systems where you want to store your VM's uh, disk. So once you've got it selected, click Next. We'll have our summary here, confirm everything, and then hit Submit. And then after that, we're going to run over to the uh, legacy UI, go to VMs, click our Rancher 0 VM that we just created, and click Devices. Um, the raw file, that's our disk image, we're going to click Edit on that, and we're going to set a password for Rancher OS. Uh, make sure disk boot is checked, it should be already. Um, let's go ahead and click OK. And then come back to VMs, click our Rancher 0, and then click Start. Yes. While that's starting, let's come over here to our uh, newer UI. I'm um, going to click off of here and click back so it refreshes. Click connect right here on our VM, and we should see our machine booting in a second here. If everything is going properly during that process, you should see uh, your Ethernet device right here, uh, ETH0 in my case, and the IP address that your Rancher OS VM got from DHCP, 192.168.0.104 in my case. And so well, let's go ahead and log in. Rancher will be the username, and the password will be whatever password we set on your raw device. All right. Everything looks good. Let's uh, SSH into our Rancher OS VM now. And IP address, and that's SSH Rancher at the IP address that your, uh, your Rancher OS VM pulled from DHCP. Yes, to continue connecting. The password, and we're in. So, the next thing we're going to do is set up our static IP address on our VM. And the way that we can do that is by typing sudo ROS config set rancher.network.interfaces .eth0 in my case because uh, that's the name of my device right here dot address 192. So you're going to want to choose uh, an IP address that's within your network subnet uh, that's valid but not within your DHCP range that your router hands out. So I'm going to do 192.168.0.200 and then I'm going to hit up and we're going to delete all the way back to Ethernet 0 dot again and we're going to do gateway. 
and then we're going to put the IP address of our router on our network. Then we're going to set the MTU to 1500. And we're going to set DHCP on that interface to false. Once we've done that, we're going to want to set up static DNS name servers. And to do that, we're going to we're going to delete back to the network node in that hierarchy. Um, and do network.dns.name servers. And the way you have to enter this, we need to do, we're going to do an open and close double quote. Inside that, we're going to do the square brackets. And inside that, for each IP address in single quotes, uh, we're going to put the IP address in single quotes. So 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 is Google's public DNS, and then a comma, and then our next IP address, 4.2.2.2, which is uh, L3's public DNS server. And so that's what that should look like when you're done. And we can check that by getting rid of our value and changing set to get. And if that worked properly, we should get back that back in YAML format, which that looks right, a dash and then each IP address. And so to test that work, let's sudo restart, sudo reboot, sorry. I'm going to come back here to virtual machines and because some for some reason right now on nightly is even though I reboot my machine it stops so I'm going to start that again reconnect via serial and wait for that to boot up and so since I had a different VM on that IP address before dot 200 it's in my SSH known host file um, so to edit that you can either vi or nano dot SSH known hosts in your home directory wherever you're SSHing from and uh, remove that IP address and save the file and then SSH to our new address if everything worked properly hmm, let's see Okay, it looks like I made a mistake there. So what we actually need to do here is um, we need to sudo ors config set rancher.network.interfaces.eth0.address 192.168.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.